Danny Bin's Fair Play Footballer, written and read by Lisa Rajan. Danny Bins opened the lid of the toy box in the spare bedroom. Which toy do you think I should choose today? She asked her sister, Tara. Every time Danny took out a toy, she was sent off on an adventure. The train, suggested Tara. Danny's hair flopped over her eyes as she rummaged through the box looking for it. She grabbed a ribbon to tie her hair back. At once, her hand began to tingle. The tingling spread up her arm and around her whole body. Then she began spinning and tumbling through space and time. When the spinning stopped, Danny found herself in a noisy football stadium. She was sitting on the substitute seats. It was the final game in the mixed team's National League Cup. The blustery wind blew her hair into her eyes, so she tied it up with the ribbon. It was 1-0 to the Blues, two minutes before half-time. Danny watched one of the red players dribble the ball expertly past one blue player after another, heading for the goal. The crowd roared with excitement. Will he score? wondered Danny. A blue player slid in and tackled him hard. The red striker flew forward, crash landing on his knees. The referee blew her whistle. The striker rolled around, holding his leg. His teammate helped him to his feet. He was hurt. The ref gave a free kick. You'll have to take it, Asher, the striker told his teammate, limping towards Danny on the substitute seats. Asher placed the ball and took a few steps back. Can she score from there? wondered Danny. Asher ran forward and kicked the ball. It soared over the wall of defenders into the back of the net. Goal! The crowd roared with delight. The ref blew her whistle for the goal and then again for half time. Hi, I'm Ty, said the striker to Danny as she helped bandage his, his injured knee. How can I tie this in place, she wondered. Ah, yes, my ribbon. Thanks, Danny, said Ty. You all have to go on instead of me in the second half. I can't play anymore. Danny gulped. Half time was over. Asher ran eagerly back onto the pitch. Your bootlace is untied, Danny shouted, but Asher was too far away to hear. Danny ran around the pitch, trying to block the blue player's passes. Suddenly, Tim, the player who had tackled Ty, dodged around her, the ball at his feet. She went to tackle him. There was a slide, a tumble, and then Tim was on the ground holding his ankle. She tripped me, he howled, pointing at Danny. Danny froze. Did I trip him? She puzzled. I don't think so. It was just a normal tackle, wasn't it? But it had happened so fast, Danny wasn't sure. The ref awarded Tim a penalty. Tim jumped to his feet. His ankle strangely recovered. My dive worked, he smirked at Danny under his breath as he headed for the penalty spot. What? How sneaky, she thought crossly. The goalie crouched, ready to leap. Tim ran forward to take the penalty kick. He kicked the ball right on target. The goalie stretched up. Save! Tim growled and stamped his foot. Asher got the ball. She dribbled it all the way up the pitch, dodging blue defenders. She made it to the box, but just as she was about to shoot, she tripped on her boot lace. The ball chipped upwards. Shoot, Danny! Asher shouted as she fell. Me, thought Danny, looking for her teammates. But there was no one else close enough to try. Danny hesitated for a moment too long. She went to kick the ball, but missed. Grrr. She was cross with herself for messing up her chance to score. The ball landed at her teammate's feet. He tried to shoot, but there were too many defenders. Danny ran back into a space. Here, she called. He passed to her. She trapped the ball and started running towards the goal. A second chance to score. Tim raced in to tackle her. 
Danny sped up. She was so close, so was he. Suddenly, oof! Danny's, Danny's foot slid sideways. Tim flew over the top and they both landed in a sprawling heap in the box. Penalty, shouted the ref. He pushed you, right? Danny paused and thought, I could get a penalty sh shot. I might score the winning goal. But, she thought, Tim didn't push me. I slipped. I should be honest. She bit her lip. But wait, Tim lied to get a penalty earlier. This would even things up. I wouldn't be lying, just not speaking up with the truth. But two wrongs don't make a right, thought Danny. No, I slipped, she told the ref, offering Tim her hand as they scrambled to their feet. Tim stared at her, confused. It should be a corner, not a penalty. Asher, you take it, suggested Danny. I can't, wailed Asher. My boot is loose. The lace snapped and I don't have a spare one. Where are my boots? shouted Ty from the sideline. Wrong size, too big, panicked Asher. What can I do? Uh, I know, said Danny. Ty, called Danny, give Asher my ribbon. She can lace up her boots with it. Asher threaded the ribbon through the eyelets on her boot. She pulled it tight and tied it. She ran to the corner and lined up a perfect cross into the box. Danny realised she was too far forward. The ball would land behind her. But if I turn around, she thought, I could try to kick it over my own head and into the goal. I'll fall on my back, but I have to try. Danny launched herself up and back, leaping off the ground. She kicked as hard as she could and made perfect contact with the ball. Did I score? She wondered. Then the crowd roared, goal! The ref blew the final whistle, 2-1 to the Reds. We've won, Danny beamed. You deserve to, said Tim sheepishly, helping Danny up. You played well and you played fair. I'm sorry for pretending you tripped me. I wanted to win so badly, I forgot to be a good sport. It's okay, smiled Danny. We all want to win, but I don't think it feels like a victory if you cheat. Your goal won us the match, beamed Asher. It was your corner that made it happen, said Danny. I'm so glad my ribbon kept your boot on for the most important kick of the game. Teamwork is what ties it all together. Not the ribbon, said Ty. That's what's made us that that's what made us the true winners. As Asher handed the ribbon back, Danny felt a tingle in her hand, then her arm. Then her whole body started spinning and tumbling away from the stadium. The next thing Danny knew, she was back in the spare bedroom. I was a footballer and we won the cup she told her sister Tara. I scored the winning goal, Danny said proudly, and kept the team together, bandages, boots and all. Playing fair made me the girl of the game, Danny grinned. Striker of the season, Danny, smiled Tara. I wonder which job the toy box will give you to tackle next time. That was Fair Play Footballer Danny Bins by Lisa Rajan.